Hi guys, my name is Marlene McCohen and welcome to Parent Tip Tuesday. Today, we have with me Picasso, my mustache parakeet, and my very busy Harlequin Macaw Rocky, who's busy chewing his foot. Are you saying hi there? Okay, great. So, for those of you who watched my last video, you know that we talked about bleeding. Are you saying hi? Good bird. Yeah, you're a little late, but that's very good. That's very good, thank you. So Rocky wants to say hi to you guys again and officially will acknowledge that. So for those of you who watched my video last week, you know we were talking about how to immediately stop bleeding when a bird bleeds. But today we're going to talk about in detail one of those reasons why birds bleed and how to fix it. So we're going to talk about the blood feather. This, you guys, is a feather from Rocky. It's his wing feather. Uh, blood feathers are often tail feathers or wing feathers. They look like this. They have like this large quill in it. So this is the quill of the feather. Now, let me explain to you why we call it a blood feather. So when this is in the bird, pretend my hand here is like the skin follicle. It looks like this and it's closed up. And Let's say that this is the bird's body and through the skin follicle, blood runs through and that runs through the quill and basically gives the feather all the nutrients it needs to grow. So also, if you were to cut the feather while it's on the bird, like right here, the feathers will regenerate and that's because the blood flow is going through the feather and like, you know, regenerating it. So. Keeping in mind that this is the bird's body and this is the follicle, I'm going to explain to you why it's really important to pull out a blood feather if it is bleeding, okay? And the reason is this. This is the follicle and this is the feather. If you see blood on your bird anywhere, always find the source of it. If you find that it's a blood feather and it looks like this, and what would happen is inside there's going to be a lot of red blood, and you have located that this is where the bleeding is from, it often means that this feather is broken inside. Now, unless you pull this out, the bird is going to continue to bleed. And you have to remember from what we talked about last week that um, bleeding is very dangerous for birds because they don't have a lot of blood. So a tenth of blood loss in their body is a lot. So this is what you do. If you have a smaller bird, Rocky's a large macaw, so this is a large feather, you could use a hemostat, which is kind of like a nose tip, like a long nose tip tweezers, or you could use your hands, and you have to pull the feather out immediately like that. When you do that, the follicle is going to close. That is kind of like a natural clotting to stop the blood from bleeding. If you want to assist in the clotting, then you could put some of the, the um, like the flower that we talked about last week, or Quick Stop, where Quick Stop has an agent in it to stop the pain, and that will help the blood clot, okay? Now guys, how do you do this? So let me just give you that demo again. This is like the skin follicle of the bird, and you're pulling it out, and then it's going to close. The reason that's important is because you have to pull the feather out from as close to the skin follicle as possible. And you have to use a lot of strength so that it doesn't get broken in there or cut. If it is broken in there, then you're going to have a piece stuck in there and that's very dangerous. That's why you gotta, you, you gotta be tough, stern, and not afraid to do it. Now, let me explain to you what happens if you don't get the feather out. Since there's a blood flow running through the follicle, if it is bleeding out this way and you don't pull the feather out, it's going to continue to bleed because this is essentially an open follicle. So only when you get the whole entire thing out does it close. That's basically the easiest way that I figured out to explain it to people of why. So the same thing will go for if the feather is broken here and there's still a piece, then the follicle is still being kept open by that quill and it's really important to get it out. Also, do not try to twist it, do not try to move it or shake it. If you have a, this is a tweezers for like, let's say a smaller bird's feathers, but 
you would need to get to the root of that and yank it out really, really quick, apply pressure, and stop the bleeding right away, exactly like how we talked about in the last video. Now, guys, if you know that your bird has some sort of liver disease, um, birds with liver problems, they can bleed extremely easily because they don't have as much ability to clot their own blood. So you're gonna have to come to the rescue and make sure that you keep that pressure on there. And probably in those cases, it would be a good idea to have flour or another agent ready to stop that bleeding like we talked about last week, okay? So now, how do you like contain your bird so that you can get that feather out? Um, I'm gonna tell you what I do. You cannot have a bird that's moving around and panicking. This has to be really quick and really, really simple. So for, I'm just gonna put this down right over here. So what I like to do because, kind of because I like soft blankets, but I always think it eases the bird. I mean, let's take Picasso. Obviously I'm not gonna pull anything out of him, but he's a little bit of a nicer bird. He might let me open his wings, but if he's in pain, he's not going to. So. What I do is I get a soft blanket. Some people use towels or some people just grab the bird and do it, but I just wanna know that they have a little extra softness and extra comfort. Usually someone like my sister will help me do it. And what I'll do is I'll contain him in here. I'll make sure his head sticks out so that he's, you know, I know he can breathe. And then one of us will extend the wing or the tail and just, pull it out. Unfortunately, I don't want to torture the bird and, you know, make him get in the blanket right now to show you guys, but really like you, the easiest way is to lay the blanket down on a surface like a bed or um, a couch, have your items ready, have the flour, have cotton balls, have a tweezers, have the hemostat, everything that you need ready to go, and then lay your bird down, wrap him up, hold him, you want to make it as quick as possible and pull out the wing. Stretch it out so you see exactly what you're working with and don't pull out the wrong feather. Get it and then apply pressure. Um, I like to do this with my sister because she'll kind of like pet the bird's head at the same time or actually she's kind of the better one at pulling the feathers out because um, she's studying to be a vet so she's kind of like tough and good like that. Whereas, you know, I can do it but I'd rather be the one like coddling the bird. So, but if you are there by yourself, you just gotta do it. Now guys, if for example, what happens if the feather comes out and there is a broken piece in there? If you can't get that out with the tweezers immediately, better to take your bird to the vet than to mess with it. But guys, that is the reason you need to apply the pressure and just go for it to get it out. Because if you start trying to pull and pull, you could break the feather and that's where, that's where the trouble comes in. So if you do have any trouble stopping the bleeding or you can't get it out yourself, I recommend going to a bird store or a vet. You wouldn't believe what, if you have a great bird store near you, what they can handle even better than vets because they're dealing with hundreds of birds where sometimes if you live in a small town, you're, the vets are mostly dealing with dogs and even if they're avian specialists, they're not, they don't come across birds that often. So if you can get to a bird store um, and you want them to help you pull out a blood feather, that can be okay too. But if your bird is bleeding, you need to go to a vet and you need to, um, I mean, if your bird is bleeding and you can't stop it, make sure you go to a vet. Always ask for help, don't be afraid. So um, that is how to pull out a blood feather. It's really important, it's going to happen. Some birds are really great with pulling out their own blood feather. Uh, my African Grey, he was like a genius. He'd be like, oh, I have a blood feather. Let me take care of this. But most birds are not. So um, that's how you deal with it, guys. And it's going to be one of those things that definitely comes up. It always does. And um, so you will be faced with this eventually. So it's really important to know. If you feel like you found the feather late and the bleeding has already stopped and the blood feather is okay, but it, you could tell that it was bleeding, it's still a good idea to pull the feather out. And the reason is because when the bird moves around or if he flaps his wings or if he hits something in the cage or if he falls and that feather moves again, chances are it's going to bleed out again. And it's just better to be safe than sorry. So pull that feather out 
a new one will grow and um, your bird will still be just as beautiful. So um, that is all for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, we do this every Tuesday. Videos kind of come out late Tuesday. But um, remember guys, there's so many other videos for you guys to watch. If you're just finding this video now, check out the whole playlist. There's so much to learn about birds and to know before anything happens, how to protect and save your bird. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. We love subscribers. Follow us at Instagram at Marlene McCohen where you can see the rest of the flock. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Bye.